नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स द कैनवास ऑफ पोइट्री इज वेरी वास्ट वेरी लार्ज समटाइम वी राइट विथ पेन इंक ऑन द पेपर समटाइम वी यूज ब्रशेस समटाइम वी यूज लेंसेस ऑफ कैमरा एंड समटाइम वी यूज द लेंस विद द मूवमेंट मोशन फिल एंड ऑल्सो in acting in theater in dance in many ways we present we can present poetry today i am introducing a very wonderful poet translator poetry film director uh, and uh, activist who ha- who is who lives in norway who belongs to norway and who has written many books of the poetry and moreover she is writing the poetry for the children which is very important because we mostly miss the children in our writing her poetry has been translated into many international languages and uh, even Her, uh, and she has also made poetry films on the world poets like poets from philistan uh, fadwa uh, tokhan and uh, far uh, uh, iranian poet uh, like uh, farooq farooqzad and many other from many other countries you will be happy to know that she has made films on the uh, poetry of kuwar narayan our beloved poet she has taken participate in world's most of the poetry festival moreover she has sent her poetry films to many poetry film festivals and she got award also uh, i know her from 2008 when she came to uh, kritya in punjab and it was our uh, our first experience with the poetry films and she also used that time because uh, she has taken the fo- uh, poetry of most of the major uh, or most of the good poets and she made poetry films so odwik live welcome to you in this kritya talk yeah, we are very happy to introduce here yeah, you are the part of kritya and uh, you came i think maximum for five six times to kritya so she is like a, kritya is like a home for you so yeah. welcome all the way i thank you for inviting me to this talk and i thank kritya for everything that kritya has meant to me it has meant a lot i have met a lot of interesting indian poets I got to know more of India even I know I have a lot to learn and uh, I got to know a lot of poets from all over the world through Kritya so thank you uh, yeah I remember that uh, when you experience uh, you share your experience that you travel in a second class train uh, uh, with your camera and uh, you travel uh, from delhi to agra with your daughter yes. and yes. you enjoyed the real india yes you are one, uh, you are one of the poet who uh, who didn't want a very big hotel or very big uh, facilities uh, you always wanted to enjoy uh, uh, this uh, uh, you uh, the real india and uh, you now <laughs> we every after every festival we we were traveling somewhere uh, to see more of india and you and of course india is so huge and it's so much different things but uh, it has really been a, a very good experience to 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 these travels in india so i want to know uh, odwe that uh, you are fantastic poet uh, you were established poet in uh, norway uh, but how and when did you start 
taking the camera, the lens of camera to write poetry. So please explain this. Yes, uh, the first time I, I, I was translating Khatva Tukan, a Palestinian poet. So I went to Palestine, uh, in, to Nablus, and uh, there I, I made a lot of small poetry films together. I, I used four poems, and I made about seven short films from this place and with four poems. Uh, and so I was invited to a festival in uh, in uh, Romania, and uh, after the festival, uh, many of the poets uh, some days together at the cottage. We we stayed together. We read poetry for each other, and I had my camera, and I started to film them. And afterwards, I made some poetry films. And when we, when I was invited to Kritia, I asked my daughter, who is also a filmmaker, to come with me. So we brought a bigger camera and we did a lot of recordings. And um, we had a lot of materials after this festival. And uh, we started to to do uh, different things, not only to see the poet, but we made small uh, art films. Uh, we sent it to exhibitions and got uh, into we, we, we screened the films in, uh, in a big exhibition in Norway and in Paris. And many of these films was uh, recorded in uh, Punjab. Yeah, I know that. Uh, so I just want to know that uh, how did you develop this poetry films? Because you, your poetry films are very different. Um, and uh, in the Western world, I saw that the poetry film itself is a, po uh, is a poetry. Because yeah. the background of the poetry film is a poetry itself. They don't show the, uh, the story by the poetry films. No, no, and we, my daughter, Kari, uh, Kari Klivesko is her name, uh, and I, we have been working on this poetry film project for several years, and uh, we have had a lot of discussions uh, about what, what is a poetry film. Uh, it's not only a poem and a picture, uh, and very often there are too many words so sometimes we need to just take a bit of the poem uh, because it, it's too much with uh, with both picture and and words often but although a film can be inspired by a poem but not we do not always use the whole poem. I think it's, you can, po poetry can be so much. It can be pictures, it can be words. And in this poetry film, uh, it is a kind of a meeting. But I think uh, for me, poetry is also, how do you say it, a kind of silence. Yeah. And mm -hmm. and I try to often to create this silence, this space in the poetry films. Yeah, that is very important thing. The silence between the word. Sometimes yes. poetry remains there. Uh, before talking so uh, too much, I will uh, try to show to show the Kuan Narayan's uh, film which she had uh, made that is very fantastic film uh, on, the, on the poetry. So I want to show that. Uh, uh, so let us show, let me show that film. Aajkal apna zyada samay apne hi saath bitata hoon. 
ऐसा नहीं कि उस समय भी दूसरे नहीं होते मेरे साथ मेरी यादों में या मेरी चिंताओं में या मेरे सपनों में वे आमंत्रित होते हैं इसलिए अधिक प्रिय और अत्यधिक अपने वे जब तक मैं चाहूं मेरे साथ रहते और मुझे अनमना देखकर चुपचाप कहीं और चले जाते कभी कभी टहलते हुए निकल जाता हूं बाजारों की तरफ भी नहीं कुछ खरीदने के लिए नहीं सिर्फ देखने के लिए कि इन दिनों क्या बिक रहा है किस दाम फैशन में क्या है आजकल वैसे सच तो यह है कि मेरे लिए बाजार एक ऐसी जगह है जहां मैंने हमेशा पाया है एक ऐसा अकेलापन जैसा मुझे बड़े बड़े जंगलों में भी नहीं मिला और एक खुशी और एक खुशी कुछ कुछ सुकरात की तरह कि इतनी ढेर सी चीजें जिनकी मुझे कोई जरूरत नहीं Yeah. This is <laughs> I just need to say that it has uh, this film had not the, the right format it it shrinks this way so it uh, it it is not quite the same picture format but although you could you can see some of it uh, uh, but the, see that I I am impressed that uh, 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 one thing is that we could hear the sound of uh, Kornarangi who is no more so this is very yeah. sensitive uh, moment for us the another thing what i like that you have not used many gimmicks in this you have made this in 2008 you are showing only the crowd and the one man is standing mm. and from starting to end this person is standing so that is, the person is or a poet or or whatever is that he is Uh, the uh, the the poet he, who is standing in the crowd and mm -hmm. facing or uh, ignoring the crowd or feeling the crowd so that is uh, uh, very uh, interesting because uh, most of the time in poetry films sometime many many um, uh, practicals or many many things we use it so uh, so this is your poetry i really thank you for uh, such thing because uh, this was this is our uh, uh, this is a little sensitive sentimental also we it makes us sentimental yeah. because uh, he is no more and he is a senior poet in his fantastic person yeah uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Tell you that uh, uh, we 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 visited him in in delhi and oh, yeah. we did lot of recordings with him and he he was such a, a, a good poet and a nice man so i have very good memories of him yeah and after this festival only margus letic has translated his whole book in estonia which is a very big book almost 3 uh, yeah. 2 300 uh, pages book which was a big uh, major work, work of uh, uh, margus late late mm -hmm. so it's good that uh, through kartya our poet that is our aim in that our good poets uh, reach to a word and uh, uh, the words poets uh, reach to us that is our aim now you use the camera for still poetry film, film also i am very much impressed by your still uh, poetry still means camera so the way you use camera is fantastic uh, and sometimes we can't imagine that because you enlarge and i have seen your um, somewhere that uh, in some festival that you um, use these camera posters uh, very large posters very long posters by this camera so this is not a simple work um, uh, do you want to say first or shall i show this camera 
Uh, this uh, poster. Uh, you, you can show it and we can talk about it okay. after, perhaps. So this, uh, these five, six posters uh, I showed because I made it in a continuity. I made because contrast can be seen. Um, like this poetry is not iron. You have shown only a a, a screw, a, a very uh, a large photo of a screw, and uh, because the screw is yeah. iron, but it looks very very impressive because you have enlarged like anything so that imagination um, yeah i think it is the same thing as as you use the metaphors in in in, in your poetry uh, mm. you can just pick one thing and you can enlarge it in a way and and then you can give the poem space mm. uh, that is uh, to to find a, a, in a way the soul of a poem and and um, make a conversation to a picture or a film. That is, uh, I think, what I'm doing: creating a space and a conversation. Um, I will like to show a poetry film which you made on my poetry also before we talk more. So because uh, I like uh, because I feel that I uh, lost that sound. Because that voice, no, which you have recorded, is no more with me. Because with age, our uh, 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 our sound goes uh, or become we become little little harsh. So I will show you this. कविता लोहा नहीं कविता लोहा नहीं काट लेती है लोहा लोहे में कविता नहीं पर कविता की धार तो है इस्पात नगर से जुड़े मन नीड़ बुनते हैं कविता से यहाँ दरख्त हैं पंछी हैं फड़फड़ाहट के साथ कलरव के साथ बादल हैं अमराइयाँ हैं पड़ोसी हैं खूब चुप बातें हैं फिर भी कभी कभी चिड़िया बिजली के खंभे पर बजा फिर भी कभी कभी चिड़िया बिजली के खंभे पर बसेरा बनाती है शाखाओं के आमंत्रण को नकार के छाया की शीतलता को पुकार जलते सूरज को ललकारती है लोहे के साथ कविता है कोई बात तो होगी Yeah, I, I love this poem and what you are saying that uh, poetry is not iron but cuts the iron. That is uh, yes. really true, <laughs> I think. Uh, uh, and that you have used in uh, in a poster also. And I I was uh, I was uh, this was actually not a poem. This was a, a one small part between a long poem, and uh, you could find it because I didn't give you. You could find it because I was too busy, and then you came to me, and then so told me that, see, I want to do this. So yeah. that is your uh, what you say that how you catch. That is very important thing that how you uh, catch. So um, yeah, uh, I think that is important because uh, I, I don't like that you 
in a way the drive on two channels that you you show the same thing but but again it is this uh, this way of creating a space for the picture or for the poem or how they how they can listen to each other in a way so uh, it is it is fantastic and uh, now we will talk about your poetry because you are a wonderful poet moreover i think you are the only poet who has uh, chosen many varieties uh, and uh, your poetry even though uh, miss, mostly you know that uh, when i go uh, most of the time many countries feminist poetry in a name of feminism sometimes you get a bit irritated also that uh, uh, what kind of uh, feminism is that but you are not doing these things you have written some poems as a mother sometime but fantastic thing i like the uh, poem you have written on football yes as you say that football is popular in your country also in europe most of the country but uh, um in india i have seen uh, uh, poets uh, women poets writing on cricket which is very popular or uh, writing on a uh, 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 any other game uh, so this poem this book i have translated your book uh, on the football and i was very uh, very much impressed that you have not only written poetry it is not only emotion emotions are coming very well but same time you have you have given the history of football which was not known to me because football is not very very common uh, 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 in india no, it they it it is in some states like uh, bengal and kerala but it's not very common uh, like a like a cricket but the history that how it was started uh, and that also it comes afterward not in the starting uh, and uh, you said that you, this uh, you please talk about this book about the uh, 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 to me it was a way of um trying to 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 find or, or to see more of the mystery of football why are people so passionate about it um and what is it uh, so i i try to understand more of football through poetry through writing Uh, and i thought yes poetry is a good way of understanding football because in football you find all kind of feelings you find all kind of passion you find love you find hate you find everything and passion. yeah and and i i thought well that is poetic in a way you can uh, we can find I can try to 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 express some of the soul of football through poetry. So that was my aim. And I also read a lot about this history of football. And uh, for example, you you can find this old story about the rituals in the in Japan. Uh, the kemari play that they played with this football it was a kind of football game and uh, this book is also translated into uh, japanese and i was invited to a poetry festival in kyoto this uh, spring just before the lockdown and there at the emperor's palace i found pictures about the kemari play it was really interesting uh, and also I found the stories from England from the 1300 uh, that people got so crazy about football that they forgot about everything they were playing they they did not have stadiums at that time so they were playing in the gardens and they just ruined the gardens and they, they the fences went down they just forgot about everything and 
then um, the government had to forbid it. So uh, they even they had a, a, a law that said that people who are playing football have to go to prison. Wow. So <laughs> it, it's telling something about uh, this uh, this kind of mystery of football, how it's very human in a way, I think. This feeling of uh, uh, being in a group, us and them, the play, the competition, and uh, it's it's everything. It's it's human, and I think it's material also for poetry. Yeah, I also feel most of the time that uh, a small child who, who does not know anything, if you give a ball in his hand, he will be very happy. Huh? Yeah. And uh, huh, so, uh, how he this ball uh, is making him happy? Because if you give some another kind of uh, toy he may be happy he may not be but the if you give a ball he will be extremely happy so that is um, that is the thing we also see that we also uh, look around uh, but uh, as you said that football is like a poetry itself is a very very interesting thing that how can you see the poetry in very very uncommon things Otherwise, uh, we just wait for the subjects, we wait for the theme, the pain, sorrow, feminism, or uh, 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 labor, or um, uh, or the black and white, or many other subjects which are important. But the very important thing is here, this football. Another thing I love this football because uh, this is the game which has given um, uh, importance to uh, or which has given highlighted um, for uh, for this a, a, a kind of a special country people or the people who were um, uh, um, who were not in a highlight who were not before highlighted like South African um, people or the South American so mm. these people became highlighted yeah uh, yeah and the 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 people who came from the uh, from the uh, what you say that from the uh, 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 poverty uh, got fame became the world hero so yeah. this is this is fantastic program there is no doubt uh, fantastic uh, uh, for, uh, sub the subject theme it's but nobody about, has done uh, yeah yeah it's something about this play that everything yeah. you you can have this feeling that everything can happen. I think a lot of people are they just love this. See, no other game has such a big crowd <laughs> like football, mm -hmm. and it yeah. became uh, like religious. It it became a religious. Yeah, in a way, and I think when you, if you are a small child you go with your father to a football game and there are thousands of people i think you will get this feeling that this is the most important thing in the world perhaps um yeah. but the, uh, and i think the, the football game you can find things in a football game that you can find everywhere in in the human life so the football game can give us pictures uh, that um, also can be poems, in a way. So I, when I were reflecting on football, I was, uh, I felt I was reflecting about human life. Yeah, I think the, uh, that somebody has make film, made film, or use your poem uh, for the making film on football. That's what I heard long back. You a few years back, you told me. Uh, I made some films with the with the um, the, um, the trainer, the, the captain, or uh, of some of the very well known football player in Norway. Uh, they read my poems, and uh, it was filmed. Yeah. Uh, this uh, this poetry should be everywhere whenever there is a football game. It it, it should be con uh, translated in any language, and uh, should be showed there. Uh, so I um, the, uh, shall we read some poems from yeah, football? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, because uh, i have translated this book this book so yes. we will re- uh, so which uh, i think last you should we read the first part they are very short so i read okay. and then you read and then i read and you read okay. this uh, this first uh, the, the first um, poems from the first okay. Poem. okay okay so i will read for you in norwegian mm-hmm. and you will read in hindi yeah, yeah. Du är er ballen, du är er foten, du är er graset mot det svarta och kvite. Du är er vinden, du är er farten, du är er tia. Du är er cirkel, du är er linje, du är er punkt, du är er tyngde. Du är er det som stiger och stig, stuper in mot dig väldigt stille, in mot ett bröl, formar en lysande båge i luft, i hjärnevev. Uh, so this is the first part of the first uh, first poem from the first part. The first poem. तुम गेंद हो, तुम पाव भी, तुम दूब हो, शेत श्याम के विरोध में, तुम हवा, तुम गति, तुम समय भी, वृत्त तुम रेखा भी और बिंदु भी तुम, तुम नीचे से ऊपर और ऊपर से तू नीचे से ऊपर और उठती हो और ऊपर एक विशाल सन्नाटे की और फिर उछाल मारती विराट शोर में चमकीली मेहराब बनाती हुई हवा में दिमाग में और कोशों में ब्यूटीफुल लाइन दैट दैट हाउ इट्स जंप अप हां सेकंड हां प्लीज दू आर देन सम ट्रिलर देन सम स्प्रिंग ते कैन डू लुक द वेक्टलिंग से फ्रॉम इट स्प्रंग आउट ऑफ द इमुलिगे कैन द उत्रुलिगे शे एन डाग मेलम उपमोल्ट ओर्डन Noko som spränger det ändelige. Tum lodakti uchi. Tum lodakti uchi kut lagati. Dekti gurutva karshan ki bhar hinta ki or. Asambhav ke bahar chalang lagati. Achambha banti kisi din. Maapo ko dar kinar karti hui. Tima bikhandhan karti hui asim ki. Spur over grasa. Vägar i luft, ett avtryck i sanden, en skulder, en häl, målar upp det som ingen kan vita, rätt för, rätt efter. Du pör pagdandi, hava med raha, red på chinhit ek kandha, ek edi, anjan ko mapte hue, shanit bur, shanit pachat. Balansere mellom for sent og for tidlig, i dager full av grusen av føttene, stein i skoen, med håp gjemt under neglene, måler opp retninger, svev. Santulen satte hue, jara jaldi, ja bahodderi ke bich, तलवों के नीचे कंकड़ जूतों में पत्थर नाखूनों में छिपी आशाएं दिशाओं का मापन आसमान में घूमते हुए फोर्सकर पोटिंग द क्राफ्टर स्पियोनेर पर टीमन फेल यन मिनट में लूंगर और ब्लूर में वेक्टर मस्कुलर और बैन और ड्रेमर गुरुत्वाकर्षण पर शोध घंटों की गुप्तचरी क्षणों में गिरते हुए फेफड़े धमनिया मांसपेशियों हड्डियों और सपनों के भार के साथ क्वार सम फंगर देन क्लूडन में सिन लीस ऑन द कोरोना इंपुल्स एला स्ट्रेटजी लाइक एला क्रीक बॉलन इन नेट एर द टॉप एला ट्रियम्फ Er det krigerleik, impulsstrategi? Er det Guds hånd, Guds fot? Hva er det som utgjør denne gålet på prakashvann avhavale? Jatet kshan, ja vajtjarik manthan, krida, ja judd, jal med fassi gen, har det, ja fyr jit, krida, ja judd, torit nirne, ja sochi samchi rajniti, या फिर ईश्वर के हाथ ईश्वर के पैर ये बहुत दिस इज ब्यूटीफुल 
ईश्वर के हाथ बिकॉज दीज फुटबॉलर्स आर कॉल लाइक द लाइक ए गॉड दे आर ट्रीटेड लाइक ए गॉड and actually in this this is beautifully you have uh, told about this uh, 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 um, poetry no football but uh, you have uh, written about the many countries the what was there in the uh, every country like brazil in spain brazil in 1893 and um, uh, Uh, that uh, charles william then spain then england uh, dixie dean then germany and uh, uh, many country, uh, many poet uh, uh, footballers you have uh, talk up, up to rus japan digo and uh, up to uh, so the thing is that i want to read the last poem of uh, my fifth in uh, one poem first poem in a fifth chapter first poem about a caesar louis um, yeah. where ha huh, where he is uh, actually writing poetry or playing game so please read that huh. um caesar louis menotti hever taktstocken lyfter penseln vi lockar fram undre fångar det vid underläge ballen går Carlos Salvador Biardo samlar tropperna planlägg formationen tält prognoserna summera statistik ballen går teknik och taktik kredit och profit teknik och taktik mitt och ditt ballen går Biardo knälar framför mirakel men nortti hämtar kulrammer ballen går ballen går सीजर लुइस में नोटी बेटन को उठाता है और उठाता है अपना ब्रश आकर्षित होता है चमत्कार की चमत्कृति को पकड़ने के लिए गेंद गतिमान है कार्लोस सालवोडर बिलार्डो अपनी टीम को इकट्ठा कर खिलाड़ी स्थिति पर विचार करता है क्षण का हिसाब रखता है पूरी स्थिति का जायजा कर रणनीति बनाता है गेंद गतिमान है तकनीक और तरीफ और तरीके नफा नुकसान तकनीक और तरीके मेरे और तुम्हारे गेंद गतिमान है बिलाडो चमत्कार के सामने झुकता है मैं नोटी हासिल करता है नंबरों का चौखटा गेंद गतिमान है गेंद गतिमान है दिस इज एक्चुअली दिस पोर्शन वाई आई वॉन्टेड टू दैट दिस इज ए मूवमेंट दैट हाउ ए पोएट हाउ ए प्लेयर इज taking his uh, football uh, or he how he is treating so it means that you have watched every movement on the st- so this is uh, even though this is a very small uh, book uh, um, but uh, you uh, about 65 pages but uh, you have given so much uh, time to make this book uh, so uh, uh, फ्रेंड्स दिस बुक इज अवेलेबल इन हिंदी ट्रांसलेशन ऑल्सो मित्रों ये कविता आपको हिंदी में भी मिलेगी अगर आप लोग लेना चाहें तो गेंद की उड़ान से आई विल शो द कवर ऑफ दिस Yeah and I I think this um what football often is about this this uh, this mythology the you have you yeah, have all these stories about football players but you have also this uh, this hope in every football supporter that someday some my my football club will win uh, and uh, Or that everything will change that the all and all the miracles that uh, football supporters tell each other that this happened and this happened and uh, there is a football 
philosopher, uh, and uh, he he says in the, in the prefix of this book, he says that the mythic the mythic is a world apart, but it is also close at hand. It acts as a bridge between the everyday and the transcendent, the known and the unknown, the sacred and the profound. And I think that is some of the heart of uh, how people relate to football. Even uh, it's not so many people that want to um, to have these reflections. They just want to be in it. But it is this hope that we can win. Or I, I love my club. Uh, as you said that it is in mythology, in uh, Indian mythology also, uh, the ball, ball is mentioned. Yes, in yes, this, yes, uh -huh. yes. In a uh, in a very ancient mythology also, we mm -hmm. find the, the mm -hmm. ball, the, the how they are playing. And even in folk stories, we find this. Folk stories are mostly very ancient. So we find that. So it is actually... Created afterward, this uh, like a game as a football. Uh, maybe the rules are made afterward, but I think it was a very common uh, game uh, from very very early time before any other kind of game have or play has started. Yeah, and I think they they also use this ball as a symbol of the sun. Yeah, so as a part of the of a ritual that they, they, they in, in, in a way, they were praying to the sun by playing a ball game. Yeah, you have shown this actually in your, in, uh, in, in your poetry and I try to translate into Hindi. And yeah. Like this, uh, yeah, this is actually, she has made, uh, and I try to translate in, in that way. And this uh, whole uh, poetry is written in a shape of football. So uh, that is another a kind of uh, uh, experiment uh, where the words and shapes also talk to audience. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So yeah you this know, is, uh, uh, this is something about the, that they have this uh, visual. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. I, I, I like to play, and uh, in this uh, in this book, uh, I could do it. A, a bit, the the shape, the the round shape of the football is very important, and I made a, a I made a po poem with this uh, football shape that you you were screening, uh, and uh, I also use it this visual, uh, what we call concrete poetry. I use it also sometimes in other books. Uh, when uh, when I see it has something to do there, but uh, for me, you know, also uh, writing poetry, as you know, as a poet, and uh, it, it is very serious. It is something deep in in me and in you uh, to, that we want to express through poetry. Uh, and but it's also at the same time a play. Would you say so? <laughs> yeah, sure. I understand this. What you want to say that the writing poetry is very, very, very uh, philosophical. Same time, it it uh, it uh, uh, give you pleasure, like a game gives you. So uh, this is uh, important. I want to know one more thing that uh, you have written about children. I I, uh, I have not collected your poems, which I have translated in festival, which you have written as a mother. Some your mother poetry was very strong, but I don't have now translation with me. Uh, um, so uh, you have written children, and how did you start writing for children also? Yeah, in fact, I have not written very many poems for children. I have written uh, many uh, picture books uh, together with an with a artist, with an artist. I have written stories, uh, but uh, I, I also, in a way, I, I hope they were poetic. I have also made 
film of w one of them. Um, but uh, I, I have I have written some uh, poetry for children, but but uh, more stories for children. I would say. Yeah, poetry, story, anything. But we, you have uh, written for children. That yes. is important. That is important because uh, mm -hmm. children cannot uh, uh, like, um, they don't like poetry all the time. They like stories also because their mind is developing and they want many, many things to come, uh, enter in their mind, many images. And so um, that is fantastic. So you're, how do you manage all these things? Many things you are doing. Uh, you <laughs> uh, <laughs> poetry films, uh, poetry posters, uh, uh, poetry for uh, your, uh, and that is also serious poetry, and uh, with research work, and then your uh, uh, poetry for children, and then your family. I know that you have a big family. You are a mother of uh, uh, three children, beautiful children, and grandmother of uh, uh, how five. five. <laughs> wow, lucky. Yeah. So, uh, so you are uh, uh, doing, how do you manage to get uh, all these things? Uh, well, I think it is, uh, it's just something I, I want to do, I have to do, but I would say that I try to concentrate on one thing uh, at a time. I don't do everything all the time, but I, when I am writing a book, I'm concentrating on that. When I make a film, I'm into the film. So, uh, but I, I also, I, I also like this change because uh, writing is something very. Um, you have to do it alone, or I feel I have to do it when I am alone. Uh, but making film, um, we we need to be more than one uh, we need to have a photographer we need to have uh, it is more a group thing to do even if if i have the idea i have the script so we need to 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 make it together with another artist and uh, many of these poetry films or most of them um i have um i have worked together with my daughter. Uh, I am also making other films, fiction films and documentary films. And then I, I, I work with uh, other photographs and other people. And then... okay. So you, you are making now, you are already in the film. Uh, 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 this is good because when a poet is making film, the films will be more useful, more, uh, more uh, 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 what do you say that uh, people oriented and in good message? Uh, what is the situation of film in um, Norway? Is it a very film oriented society or uh, it is uh, coming up? I would say so. That uh, of course, um, uh, especially in this time, people um, are looking a lot on television and TV. Um, but I think. Uh, most people, uh, also children, they relate. They they get to know the world through films. So I think it's important. Uh, yeah, it's very important. Uh, also to uh, tell uh, our own stories, not mm -hmm. only films from other countries, but uh, that we can tell a story from our own culture. And but it's also very nice. I think uh, I have been to many international poetry or film festivals, and uh, I really learn a lot by seeing also films from from other cultures. So yeah. it's a way to tell other about. It's a way of communicating, of course. Yeah, like, but it should should be very honest, actually. Yes, 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 I, that's uh, important. And that is also, when I first was invited to a poetry festival, it was in, in, in England, and I thought, is, well, why, what can we, what is the point? Uh, but then I was so, it was so interesting to, to, re, to listen to the different poets 
the different languages. Uh, even if I did not understand it, I could listen to the music and uh, and that is, uh, I have learned a lot of um, attending poetry festivals uh, and to, to, that we can immediately get to know each other by listening to each other's poetry. I, I have had so many very good experiences at Kritia, for example, uh, in this that we can, poetry is, I think, you don't need to be a poet to communicate through poetry. Um, I think it's important to uh, read poetry, to listen to poetry, and of course, to write. <laughs> yes, uh, it's very good, very important. Uh, but uh, we are also in Kerala, we have a, a film festival, which is fantastic, and I have, written many um, a few poems on uh, films because those films yeah. were very honest yeah. though in a ha though in a uh, in a bollywood now they have changed a little bit uh, we were always shortage of uh, real stories and uh, a artificial kind of uh, uh, atmosphere was created and uh, still the serials of uh, uh, indian serials bollywood serials uh, I uh, though I know that in many countries people say, uh, say that we are learning from your serials. I said the serials are not uh, very honest because no one is so much decorated uh, at home the way they show in the serials. Uh, <laughs> so uh, these things uh, actually, if it is honest, and it is important that when a poet is doing this work is important because then reality comes in the film which is important so what you're doing is very very important work old weekly way and in a many direction um so do you want to say something more uh i have it's it's uh, we, do we finish i i don't i didn't see how um, no uh, you can say anything oh uh, yeah um i would first of all thank you for for your way of um communicating through through this talk mm -hmm. i think it's important that that poetry uh, can be a, a way of uh, meeting the world now i think it's really uh, good that we can uh, we can say we can tell each other that we still are here even we have to be inside in our homes so, and I think um, poetry is a way to tell each other that we are still alive. <laughs> and we <turn> to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, whether we are alive or not alive, but uh, 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 one thing is there that uh, we are working, we are doing something, and we are doing for the society. We feel that because yeah. uh, uh, I hope that your children's story books will be helping children. Your mm -hmm. films, uh, poetry films, and other films or documentary films will let people know the reality in the world. Yes. And, and uh, your uh, uh, your poetry, like this, uh, I learned a lot about football by translating your book uh, so uh, so that is also uh, showing so much and uh, giving uh, uh, it can so it is like this the work we what we are doing you are doing more than me i am not doing so much uh, is that giving back to society yes in yeah. our own way we are trying to give back to society what uh, uh, whatever we have so yeah. mm -hmm. So, yeah. uh, so and you I want to you can do it in a in an in a honest way. Yeah, in a honest way. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, so uh, Odwe, uh, we will uh, we wish that uh, after Corona you come to India, both of you, you, you and Brian, your husband, and uh, I wish all the best for you. Uh, because your work, I always appreciate it and I always loved. Uh, so my best wishes to 
you and your family and your five lovely grandchildren you have defeated me here i have three only you have five <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> thank you very much and uh, you. i hope we will meet again yeah yeah uh, so thank you thanks a lot thank you uh, wish uh, wish you best please come to india again and bye to everyone goodbye bye